So a dog is taken care of just the way you take care of a child. Make sure they are showered, make sure they are clean, make sure they are happy. If a dog vomits, then you have to report that the dog vomited. Are you humble enough to move to Canada as a dog walker? And if you are, then this video is directly targeted to you. Hello everybody, welcome back to Accord TV. And if you're checking in for the very first time, it's your mama Accord. And yes, 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 I am the immigration queen. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. Now in today's video, my sons and daughters, we're talking about getting a job in Canada. Getting, I don't like saying getting, getting a job in Canada as a dog worker. You know, sometime back, 10 years back, if you told me, about getting a job as a dog worker, I would, I would think you're crazy. Like, wh why would even someone get a job as a dog worker? Why? Like, why? I, I would really wonder, like, I would be like, no, that, that's a job I cannot do. And even right now, in my country, huh? There are jobs people cannot do. And if you're a cleaner, and someone asks you, what do you do for a living, you will not say you're a cleaner. You'll say you're an office something, something. So there's, there's always stigma attached to some kind of jobs. But then, with time, the economy has become really, really harsh. And then I've gotten information. I've become knowledgeable. I have gotten to an understanding that in this part of the world, as long as you work, you will make a living. And that has made me humble. Nowadays, I look at cleaners as my equals. We're all human beings. We're all hustling. We're all just trying to make money. I look at caregivers like myself. I mean, it's normal. As long as you are doing the job and you are genuine and you are making a decent living for yourself. What's the big deal? What is the big deal? And for you to be a dog worker, you don't even need any qualifications, okay? And I've seen people who even have a master's degree in Kenya. They are builders and they are earning barely nothing. They are living in the slums. They are struggling together with their families. And it is hard. But this is an opportunity where we are saying, I hope I'm not coming out as a preacher. My intention is not to be a preacher. <laughs> But this is what we are saying, that in this part of the world, whatever work you do, there's respect, okay? Even if you're a security person, you are respected for what you are doing because then everyone understands that as a security person, you are needed in the society. The community needs you. We need to have some order. So that's why you are there. If you're a cleaner in a restaurant, everyone wants to go to a restaurant and sit at a clean area, a clean place, okay? So now this is me trying to tell you that it's okay to move to Canada as a dog walker. If you're interested, if you're not, the next video is going to be about something else. So you can just wait for the next one and go for what you like. But again, it will not harm for you to watch this video and share it with someone else who may be interested. And guess what? You will share it with the person you like the least. And the next thing you'll see that person moving to Canada and then you'll be asking Jesus, Jesus, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Okay, but anyways, without any further ado, let's look on the screen and do some learning. So when you come to this website, you'll see the first picture you'll see is that of this beautiful dog. Okay, and so it says find dog worker jobs in Montreal, Canada. So if you're looking for a job in a specific location, then you just need to type in here and then you of course hit find a job and it will bring you all the details. So what is happening on this website is how it works. You'll come over here and create your profile. You will create your profile as a job seeker and then you indicate your rate and what makes you great. So basically just sharing with them what makes you number one, what makes you tick. So when you're creating your profile, remember to say you are rich and what makes you great. You know, something nice about you, something nice and sensible about you, okay? And then the next thing you want to do is apply online. Then you will get matched with jobs and apply with one click, all right? So once you have created your profile, right there and then the next thing you're going to start sending your applications online then of course the last step naturally would be to get hired schedule jobs and get hired okay that is what is happening on step three so it's a very simple process create your profile say something good about yourself always remember to speak your truth and then send your applications online and then of course you get hired and you start working and then at the bottom here there are more jobs that you can get within this website they have pet sitters dog sitters cat sitters pet boarding pet grooming pet care jobs dog workers dog trainers and much more 
So that is as simple as how it works in this website. So again, what you need to do, I don't know whether I mentioned when you were beginning, what you need to do is just sign up, create your profile, and then follow with the three steps. Okay, so you create your profile, remember your password, log in, create your profile, apply online. I don't know whether I'm repeating myself, apply online and then get hired. It's very simple. And these employers are willing to sponsor with your movement from your home country into the country. Okay, and then within the website, they're telling you who they are, care.com, who they are and the details over here. So what they're saying is care.com is the largest service for finding high quality caregivers for every facet of care, child care, special needs care, senior care, pet care, housekeeping and more. Detailed profiles, free job listings and hiring advice are just a few of the unique services we provide to help families and individuals find and select the best care available. So then you join the community. So the thing is, in this part of the world, pets are regarded very highly. A dog is taken care of just like a human being. They will go to the vet, see their doctor. They will have like an eating schedule. Huh? What's for breakfast? What is for snack? What is for lunch? What is for dinner? Cleaning their beds, you know, where they're going to sleep. And then, of course, remembering to take them for a walk. So you don't just walk them. You take care of them, grooming them, showering them. You take care of a dog the same way you take care of a baby. And you will notice at some point when living in Canada, you will notice that there are people who choose not to give birth to human beings, but they choose to adopt and take care of animals. And in this case, we're talking about a dog. So a dog is taken care of just the way you take care of a child. Make sure they are showered. Make sure they are clean. Make sure they are happy. If a dog vomits, then you have to report that the dog vomited and how many times and even take a picture you know, to confirm that the dog vomited and how much of the vomit it was. So the owner of the dog can have, like, information what to tell the vet when they take the dog to the hospital. If the dog faints, the dog should not add too much weight than what the vet recommends. So you take them for a walk. You make sure they're drinking their water. You check their poo. Their poo is supposed to be normal. You check their pee. Huh? Sometimes you, 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 you may even end up checking their temperatures because this is somebody's child. And if you make a mistake with somebody's dog, you can easily find yourself in jail. So a dog is regarded highly, just like a child. So if you are planning or if you're feeling to take up this kind of work, just make sure every time you're taking care of this, this dog, just keep it. You know, if you can keep telling your mind that, listen, I'm taking care of a child here, you'll be fine. If the dog is eating, I'm telling you, you even wipe them, you clean them because people have a lot of money. They have a lot of money, but they don't have time to make babies. And for those who have babies, a dog is part of the, their babies. So if a dog eats their food, before the owner gets back home, you want to make sure they are clean. They are clean. They are well hydrated. The dog must not look tired when its master gets home because you'll have questions. You will notice that these dogs are even taken for a ride. You know, a ride around the scenery so they see. Some of them wear clothes. I am telling you, and they have special doctors. When they are sick, they go for surgery. They have issues with their eyes, they go for eye whatever something. And the owners pay a lot of money. And that simply means that if someone is hiring you to take care of their dog, you're going to have to do the job and make sure that the job is done super, super well. The dog has to be happy and healthy at all times. If you're taking this dog for a walk and maybe it steps on something and then it, it injures itself, or maybe it's not even injured when it was walking, then the leg just goes and then the dog does like they're limping or something. You have to tell the owner, oh, by the way, when I was taking so and so, and you don't call them dog, you call them by their names. <laughs> when I was taking so and so for a walk, this happened. You, you write it, you, you have a report for them. So in case of anything, the owner will decide, hmm, should I take the, the dog to the hospital or should I just call the doctor or something? You have to be very careful with people's dogs. These dogs can really, they can land you in trouble. I'm telling you to some extent, sometimes when you think about it, it's probably easier to take care of a child, a human child than a dog, but the dogs are there. Take care of them. The best thing about taking care of dogs is that they will not go reporting you. They would say, oh, a god did, a god say, mm, you can dance all you want. But even as you're dancing, make sure the dog is safe, secured and well taken care of. <laughs> And always be happy and reduce because when you're earning the dollars, they're going to pay you well. They're going to pay you well. And some dog owners, huh, they even give you trips to travel just so you unwind. So that when you come back, you can take care of the dog well. They give you benefits. They give you, you'll be given everything you need as long as you keep the dog happy. As long as the dog is happy and always safe and healthy, you will be fine. Then as you're taking care of the dog, 
you can further your education or as you're taking care of the dog don't, don't sleep don't sleep as you're taking care of this dog huh i know it doesn't sound like a very exciting job but if you're not excited in it then use the time when the dog is sleeping to send applications to other employers and then move then move instead of waiting in your home country forever to just get a job to get into canada and i'm giving you an option here walk the dog big deal just walk the dog get into the country the rest will take care of later if you have a question or a comment comment down below and i will respond to it if you don't have anything to say but you have gotten quality out of watching this video then please leave for me a red heart down there and then youtube will think i'm a good person though maybe I'm, I'm not and then people who are like you who are outside there who are trying to get information will have an access to this video okay and then information goes all wrong but you know I, I like saying it because sharing is caring but again i feel like i've talked for one year but anyway it's all good why because the way we normally do it here and without forgetting we're keeping it positive vibes only and i'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next one